Hey everybody, this is Dylan. I wanted to take a moment to talk about the gut microbiome because it's a very common question in the Well Your World Facebook group. Really quickly, stay tuned to the end of this video where I will talk about my second live online cooking demo. I did the first one last week, multiple camera angles, lots of interaction with everybody that participated. It was really fun. So I'll tell you more at the end of the video. So yes, the gut microbiome. I get a lot of comments from people that are just transitioning to eating lots of whole starches like potatoes, uh, beans, rice, quinoa, millet, split peas, etc. that are experiencing some discomfort, a lot of gas, etc. And I've asked the doctors about this. I talked about it with Dr. Varesh a little bit in my interview with her at True North. But a lot of the doctors have been asked and their response is often, give it time. Your gut microbiome is completely backwards because of your old diet. You need to develop the proper bacteria that are gonna digest all these high fiber, uh, starchy, vegetable, fruit, foods. And so if you just give it a little bit of time, your bacteria will catch up and you'll be in a way better position than you ever were before you started. Your poops will be regular. You will not have all of that pain after you eat. Everything is going to feel way better. You may not even, if you haven't made the transition yet, you may not even know what I'm talking about because you can't imagine how good it's going to feel when you've gone through the first few weeks. For some people, it might be a month or more when your body is just transitioning to eating the right food that it was supposed to be eating from the get-go. Another reason why I wanted to talk about gut microbiome is because I got this little write-up from Dr. Michelle McMacken, MD, who wrote this piece for the Forks Over Knives website. And she says that the gut microbiome is important because it helps us digest food, make key nutrients, fight harmful organisms, protect our gut lining, train our immune systems, turn genes on and off, regulate gut hormones, and possibly even affect mood and cravings. Gut bacterial changes are closely linked to autoimmunity, inflammation, body weight, diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. So you can see that the gut microbiome is way more important than any of us were raised to understand. I don't remember learning about this stuff ever in school, and I wish I had. But what it comes down to is the most important factor that determines the overall health of our gut microbiome is the food that we put into it. That is the fuel for the gut microbiome and the bacteria that are working so hard down there. Dr. McMacken says that just five days of a diet high in animal fat and low in fiber causes a rise in bile tolerant bacteria, which are linked to inflammatory bowel disease, as well as secondary bile acids and fewer beneficial fiber fermenting bacteria. On the other hand, if you switch to a diet that is high in fiber like we eat and complex carbs like whole starches, fruit, starchy and non-starchy vegetables, you will have a greater diversity of gut bacteria more fiber-loving bacteria, lower markers of colon inflammation, and a 70% drop in secondary bile acids in just two weeks. That's really good, okay? She goes on to talk about butyrate, I think it's pronounced, a short-chain fatty acid critical to reducing inflammation throughout the body and keeping the gut tissue healthy. It also helps kill off cancer cells, hamper growth of unfriendly bacteria, stimulate appetite-lowering hormones, and promote fat burning in muscle cells, which lowers insulin resistance. All super important things for a healthy body. What it comes down to is a diet that is high in fiber from whole starches, fruit, non-starchy vegetables, you know, everything that we focus on on the calorie density chart will leave you with a really healthy gut microbiome and you'll be feeling well, your digestion will be better, your bowel movements will be better, everything will be amazing. The only complaint might be that you have less time sitting on the toilet checking on social media and headlines because as soon as you get in there and sit down, you're already done because the bowel movement is so damn easy when you're eating the right food. I mean, I think some people could call that a complaint. I used to enjoy reading on the toilet, but I don't really have any need for it anymore. Speaking of calorie density, this Saturday, June 23rd, 2018, at 10 a.m. Phoenix time, and if you don't know what Phoenix time is, just Google what time is it in Phoenix, and you'll know. I'm doing this second live online cooking demo. The first one was last week, it was really fun, but we're gonna be talking about calorie density this time. Last time, I left it pretty open-ended and we just did Q&A and talked about food. This time, I wanna talk about calorie density, really go through it, um, and calorie counting and the law of satiation as talked about by Dr. Lyle in the Pleasure Trap book. 
So we're gonna go through all that and I'm still gonna do two recipes, one hot recipe, maybe this bean stew type of thing that I throw together when I'm in a hurry and then something cold like a salad or I don't know what, we'll get there. But check out the tickets are 10 bucks on the website, wellyourworld.com. I'm working toward offering kind of like a subscription where you could just pay a monthly and you get you know two or more cooking demos, you get access to the replays. The replay will actually be my HD video, my high quality audio like this, and it's going to be three camera angles that I'm gonna be able to switch between really easily. The first one, of course, the wide angle of the whole kitchen, but then I'll also have a close up of the cutting board so you can see my chopping and last time for example we talked specifically about different chopping skills and how to chop the different vegetables that I was chopping up so that was cool and then a third angle over the stove looking at the pot of food that I'm cooking and switching between them all really fast and, and easy so I think it'll be like no cooking demo that you've seen before plus I'm doing it live and we're interacting last time we had um, like 20 people in there and we were all able to talk back and forth. For those of the, the participants that wanted to activate their video, they could do that so that I could see them. And um, so it was really fun. For those of you who are not that keen on my trying to sell you something, I really need to take Well Your World to the next level. I enjoy this work. I want to keep providing awesome free content like this, but I've got to get paid somehow. So, and I think the subscription model is a really good idea because I like Patreon's great and all, but I want to provide even more. The subscription right now is going to include some version of these cooking demos. I don't know how many in a month yet. I'm still working out the details, but eventually it can also grow to include some of the freeze dried food if I get that going, some of the books if I get that going. So the sky's the limit here and I want to keep creating awesome content, but I do need to get paid if I'm going to keep putting my time into this instead of what I used to do to make money. So that's the scoop. I hope you like it. I hope you'll join me Saturday for the cooking demo. If not, I will see you here on the next video. Join us in the Well Your World Facebook group, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.